You eyeballing me? Damn, running low on smokes again. Never gets old when something blows up. Howdy. Yep. Howdy. You looking to buy some supply? This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Take it easy now. You looking to buy some supplies? Can do.
Pleasure doing business with you. You looking to buy some supplies? Can do. Thanks. Take. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. Until next. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far.
I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. We need more people like you around. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Sure, what do you want to know? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town, the NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Until next time. We need more people like you around. How are you holding up? Sure, I can help you out. Okay. All done. How are you holding up? Don't look like nothing too serious. Let me patch you up. Okay, hold still. You take care now.
Thanks again for all your help. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced, and more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale, too. All right. I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Yeah. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Take it easy now. It's never happened before. Happy trails! I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Be careful out there. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I hunt geckos mostly. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and kai- Until next-
That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Wasteland critters like to move in when sun is not looking. So watch out. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Huh? You want to talk some more? There's not much more to tell. Get enough stars and the treasure's yours. Just watch out for some of the other people collecting them. Oh, that's right. Here, let me show you what I've got on hand.